Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. As promised in the last video, we're going to talk about strings today and we'll demo a lot of things over here. So, guys, let's get started. So, now we're not going to create every program from scratch or every script from scratch. I've already uh, copied my code over here and we'll just open them and then we'll start executing them because this way it will help us to save your time and my time. In case you want to understand, you can just pause the screen from the video and you can copy the code or you can just uh, write that code. In future, uh, I'll post that every uh, every script that I write, I'll, I'll post that on GitHub. You can just clone from there. So move, moving on, we'll just pick the first one. Let's talk about the basic string. I'll right click over here. I'll open it in Notepad++. Here we'll see how do we create a string and how do we uh, create an empty string as well. Now, if you can see over here, we are using if function, not not function like if if else. Uh, so in this if else, uh, we have not discussed anything about it yet. But uh, uh, I'll be dedicating a separate video for if uh, if else else if and other things. For now, you can just understand that I'm comparing this uh, the string. With, uh, with a block, which is the bar bracket and comparing the value in order to test whether my string is empty or not. So let's just walk through this program. I'm setting a value of hello people in A. It is clearly seen, uh, clearly visible that it's a string over here. And here I'm not setting anything. So it's kind of an empty string. So there are two things happening. First, the string creation. Second is the empty string creation. Now, how do I know that this string is empty? I'll use this value. Uh, whenever you want to reference a value, you have to take it from, uh, from the variable that you have assigned it to using the person type. Now, I'll use equal to equal to compare the value between this bracket. Let's see what the result comes. I just open it on command prompt. I'll just minimize it. Let's see what happens. You can see the output is Z is empty because there is no value in Z. And on comparing it with empty uh, bar brackets, we can see and prove that string Z is empty. So this is how you compare uh, for for a for an empty string and just make sure that you remember th this thing. Okay. Moving on, we'll talk about the other thing. So let's say we'll talk about the concatenation. So there is a little bit difference in concatenation and interpolation. Let's open both of them. In concatenation, we don't talk about our numbers we'll just talk about the strings so what i'm doing over here i'm taking the first string i'm taking a second string and then i'm setting up a final string in which i'm just concatenating the values and after that i'll be just printing that value so if i go over here i'll just clear the screen i'll just run my concat path and you can see that the final string which consists of both the values hello and what so this is how you concatenate in terms of interpolation what you can do is you can add a value which is numeric in nature by using just this extra command as i've already told that slash a is very important for it because you are taking a numerical value now taking first second and num we are all creating a final string and in interpolation that's what you guys do so let's run this you can see hello world in 20 three values over here so that's the basic difference between uh, concatenation and interpolation that in concatenation you just concat all types of string in in case of interpolation you can have the literal values and, or the numerical values as well moving on we'll talk about the left string, mid string, and right string. 
So let's just open it. So let's talk about left string first. So left in left string, what we are trying to do is there is already a string available over here, which is hello Ravish, and we are echoing it over here. Now you don't need this. It, it is just for like uh, try. It, it's just for understanding. If you, you if you want to remove it, you can just remove it as well. So here, what you can do is you can see the string which is taking value from hello Ravish, we are using this code block. Make sure that this string is already uh, declared in which there is already a value, colon and tilde. This tilde uh, is, a, uh, you can use it from your keyboard on your left uh, of digit one. From the zero till five. Now make sure that these are uh, the, the string that you declare over here has more than five values. So when you say, how do I like index it? So it always it is always indexed from zero, one, two, three, four, five. So my set str is saying that pick the value before fifth value, which is this, and fifth value is r from zeroth value. So let's see what's the result. I'll go over here. I'll just clear the screen and I'll run this. I'll just expand it so that you guys can understand. Just. And you can say our result is here. So the first thing left string is already printed because we are echoing it. Second is the str and we are taking the value from zero before the fifth value and before the fifth value we have o. So all the characters in this string will be picked from zeroth value and before the fifth value. So that would be h e l l o which is the result over here. So I think you guys uh, have understood what is it. Now let's talk about right string. Again, in right string, let me clean this. The values are counted from the back end. So you can see this minus over here. So minus is we are counting the values from here. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 values. So let's give 10 over here. We are using the same function, not function, but the same code block. What we'll do is we'll just save this, go over here and run right string. Let's see what happens. You can see that the first is uh, first string is printed. My name is Anthony Gonzalez, and second is Gonzalez. The last 10 values, you can see the dot over here. This dot is also a character in itself. So do not forget that. Let's move on to mid string. Mid string is kind of like picking the uh, substring from between. So when I run this value, so let's see what happens over here. Let me clear this screen and we'll try typing mid string and enter. You can see the first one was hello Ravish and it was echoing hello Ravish. On the sixth line, you can see that it is picking up the values from fifth and the fourth. So this five and four, what does it represent? Let's try to understand this. So it, it means that the value from fifth has to be picked and the next four characters. So if I compare the fifth value, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is R, and the first four characters, still fourth character is 1, 2, 3, 4, till I. So that's why it is printing Ravi over here. Now if I give 6 here, so it will count from the fifth value. Let's just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so these uh, the fifth value would be this, and six characters would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just try. If I run it over here, it says hello Ravish in Ravish. So that is how you uh, left string, right string, and mid string uh, in order to uh, extract some kind of substring from the existing string. So I hope you guys have understood it. 
let's talk about the remove part how do we remove a uh, stuff from a ex from an existing string so i'll just right click i'll open it in a notepad let's just go over here i clear the screen so what you can see on my screen is that i'm setting up some kind of a string my name is john doe it is easy to learn my name that's that's just one string now i'll be echoing that string first in the third line and onto my fifth line you can see that there is a string and i'm just removing this over this from there so if i run it let's see what happens so the name is remove enter you can see that is it been removed from all of them so if i change is to john let's see what happens let me let me clean no wait, let's not clean that you can see that john is removed if you compare this result and this result you can easily see that is was there and is is removed from here and there is no is because that's what we did but now i gave only john so my result string does not have any john so this is how you remove it now if you want to remove all spaces what do you do you just give a space in this and then your your resulting string would be let me clear this and after that what we can see is let's run this so remove all spaces dot pad i'll just expand this and hit enter so you can see in the first string there are a lot of spaces and what is happening over here it is removing every space that is in between so why this is happening because it is replacing that with no value and this space has been counted over here and been removed from the resulting string now if you want to remove from both the ends how will you do it so let's just clean this move on to your remove both ends all you have to do you have to give a value minus because we are counting from this thing end so the value will always be in minus so minus 1 would be this character and one from here so what you can do is you can just try running it remove from both ends so i'll just enter it you can see the first string was my name is john do it is easy to learn my name and the result string is the value the first value and the last value uh, by when i'm saying value it means the character has been deleted now this is how you remove character from both the ends so everything is uh, happening around this so all the values from here can be taken place so if i give a zero over here it won't delete anything so that you have to keep in mind now if you want to replace what you will do let's move on to this script let's clean this and you can see that the string is again the same my name is chondo it is easy to learn my name let me enter my name and let me replace it at a place of john do so let's see what happens i'll just type the name i'll just hit the tab button remove and replace enter the first line is my name is john do the other line is my name is ravi shravat you can see the difference that john do has been replaced by ravi shravat and the result is in front of you so that's how you replace first they removed it and then we replaced it so this is just uh, which i've already told that this is just playing around at this part you are removing something you are replacing something and you are creating some kind of result so that is how it's done let's talk about the last concept for today as you can see on my screen i'll open a batch file this batch file says at rate echo of the first value is a string value you can see that why is it a string value because i'm not giving any slash a over here so that's why it's a string value but this string value will be converted to a integer value and how by using this over here so what we are trying to do in this, in this script is we are taking this value as 60 as a string in first value we are using the slash a it will automatically convert into integer and then add a 40 over here so let's see how this goes we'll go over here we'll open the cmd 
and then we'll type 2 int. Hit the tab and you can see the result is 100. So if, so if you change the value over here, 60, the result will again be 120. So now you can see and now you know that the integer value can be uh, obtained from a string by adding a numerical value to it by using a slash a button. So thanks guys for the video. If you don't understand anything, please feel free to comment below and we'll address to that. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.